So there are a few crazy dating stories making headlines. We can't wait to share them with you up first. This man was on the dating site Bumble when he allegedly bragged that he stormed the Capitol on January 6th to one of the women he was chatting with. He told her, quote, I made it all the way into Statuary Hall and did an interview with a Washington Post reporter. She told him, quote, we are not a match. Then the woman took a screenshot of their text, sent it to the police. The man has since been arrested and charged with trespassing and disorderly conduct. Wow. Uh, Lindsay, what would you do if you if somebody <laughs> admitted on Bumble to you that they were at the, the Capitol riots? I wonder if this girl is done with dating apps because I remember my dating app phase, it went terribly, not this bad, but pretty bad. Why? And what so happened? that's ridiculous. Wait, what happened to you? What happened? I mean, People were just saying weird stuff, like <laughs> making up random nicknames for me. It was just like, not, it wasn't as big a deal as somebody storming the Capitol, but it made me turn off the dating app the day after I downloaded it. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been uh, caught bragging about something that bit you in the butt? N not really. I didn't want to share too much because I realize everybody's a random on there. But I, I mean, that's what happens. I mean, when you open the dating pool to everybody, you're going to get this guy that looks like Wolverine that has been on a mission in years. He just looks like Wolverine <laughs> if he just watched Fox News for 10 years. Okay, so this one's for you, Jeff. This story Is comes <laughs> all the way from Japan. This man allegedly dated 35 women and told them all he had a different birthday so he could constantly receive gifts from them. He was able to get nearly $1,000 worth of presents from the women before they all banded together to report him to police. He has since been arrested for fraud. Boo. What do you mean arrested for fraud? Thank you. What do you mean? You yeah, why is that arrest Why is that worthy? arrestable? Because he's arrestable. Is that a people. word? Sam, how many people? How many people do you know say I go on Tinder dates and Bumble dates for the free dinner, even if I don't like the guy? Is that, that fraud? Once in college. Yes. That you was should that, be arrested. Yes. I was broke as a joke in college, and I did that once. That, he what if not he be says arrested? he's broke? That's what crazy. What do you mean? I listen. I don't know if he should be arrested, but I'm glad that they have flagged him because not we forget. We think it. We think of it as, as him collecting gifts, right? But usually when you have someone that manipulates women that way to gain either money from them or to gain some sort of status or whatever it may be, they put on a facade so those women fall hard, right? They don't present their, their, their normal self. They present this idealistic, perfect man so the women fall hard. The women think that they're going to spend the rest of their life with him. Don't Are you, you the prosecution in a Lifetime yeah, movie? I, Wait, exactly. You're the one that turns Lindsay, is it illegal <laughs> to be a player? <laughs> Whoa. What? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, breaking somebody's heart is not against the law. Mm -hmm. Playing games with somebody Lindsay, lying is Lindsay. so terrible, but I, it's not against the law. Lindsay, the reason why I'm semi an expert in this is because of Albert Jackson, because you made me watch a documentary called Love Fraud. Love Fraud. And this fits right in there. <laughs> he was taking like their life savings. Now, look, this guy basically got the equivalent of dinner. He only got like a, a thousand. So that means that he, he's this like, man it's my dated, birthday. Like, 35 women and he got a thousand bucks, he needs a new scheme. Like, that's a little bit of money from divided by 35 a person. Like, what's happening? <laughs> See, that's my point. He was just like a low key player. Yeah, that's all I'm right. Not saying get we a, need to throw him in jail. Get him a, get him a purple Cadillac. A what? <laughs> player. <laughs> okay. All right, Sam is like, what? I can't. <laughs> she still doesn't get it. <laughs> do you, yes, I do. What, 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 is, what is a purple a Cadillac? A purple Cadillac? Yes. Hello from like the 70s oh, and okay. like the Playa Pimp days. Yes. Jeez, coming up on DBL. I've never heard Playa Pimp Play and then Jeez <laughs> in the same sentence. <laughs>